Topping our news, investigators are now releasing the identity of the 18-year-old who died after being shot in Murfreesboro last night. Police say Kendrick Love was shot in the chest outside one of the apartment buildings on New Las Casas Pike. Officers responded to the apartment complex shortly after 8 p.m. after people reported hearing several gunshots. Police say three men were spotted running away from the scene. Love was rushed to the hospital but was later pronounced dead. Police are asking any witnesses to call Crime Stoppers this is Murfreesboro's second homicide so far this year. A one-year-old boy is recovering after being shot overnight in East Nashville. The boy's father tells police his son found his loaded gun on the bed and accidentally shot himself. The man drove his toddler to the hospital but got a flat tire on the way there. Officers arrived and transported the toddler to the hospital where doctors expect him to survive. The incident happened at the James Casey Homes and the investigation is ongoing. No word yet on if the father could be facing charges. City leaders have chosen the man who will replace former Judge Casey Moreland. Metro Council member Sam Coleman is expected to be sworn onto the bench within two weeks and will serve as interim General Sessions judge until an election next year. Casey Moreland resigned last month after his arrest on federal bribery and tampering charges. He had served 19 years on the bench. Moreland has pleaded not guilty to those charges and has a trial scheduled for late June. The White House is denying the substance of a memo that now-fired FBI Director James Comey wrote in February. In it, Comey wrote that the president tried to convince him to end the FBI investigation into former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Congress, which is investigating possible Trump campaign ties with Russia, is now demanding Comey hand over that memo to them and come testify on the Hill about its contents. House Speaker Paul Ryan says Congress must gather all relevant information before quote, rushing to judgment. Well, Smashville still celebrating after a huge Predators victory last night. It was a hard-fought battle against the Anaheim Ducks with a wild third period, but we'll take another win any way we can get it. Roman Yossi scored a power play goal with under three minutes to go in the game, and the Preds rallied to beat Anaheim 2-1. This makes our 10th straight home win in the postseason. And News Channel 5 wants to send you to another Stanley Cup playoff game right here in Nashville. We're giving away two lower bowl Preds tickets, great seats to see all the action. Just watch for the cue to call during News Channel 5 at 6 tonight and the fifth caller will win. For complete rules, go to newschannel5.com forward slash contests. 